I always wanted to do R&B music from the very beginning of my career. I know that oh, yeah? I want to do R&B. I don't want to do pop. You know, I got robbed on the first day I got in. I <laughs> so the the first night I landed in San Francisco, I. I was starving and I really wanted to have like late dinner because it was late at night. So we went to Chinatown. I left all of my stuff, my luggage in the car and then we just ate for 45 minutes and then when we ba went back to the car, the car was like smashed down. The, the window was smashed down. I lost all my stuff that I brought for the whole month. My cash that I actually... <laughs> it was pretty reckless because I should have... I should have bring my uh, bag with me but... Anyway, it happened, so I lost everything. So it's like starting from zero, like complete, like literally starting from zero, because uh, I know that, you know, in the studio, I'm gonna like start from nothing, you know, because uh, it's a new environment, but I <laughs> didn't expect that I'm gonna literally start like buying new stuff and stuff like that. So I, I took it as, you know, starting a new chapter, you know, like, letting go of the past and just move on with the new and um, that's how I that's how I set my mind like when I when that happened I didn't know anybody I I was thrown in a room and with this producers which I'm grateful for that we instantly has have that connection with the producer and the songwriters so we divide the recording into two uh, producers, the one who lives, uh, we did in, in San Francisco and the other one we did in Atlanta. Usually in a day we can finish like three or four songs. That was like the quickest recordings I've ever done actually. That's nice man, it's just, it's just catchy. We did the recording in the States, of course, so uh, I met the producers in person, but I think the post-production after that, I mean, for the mixing and the mastering, uh, we have to do it uh, online. And um, I think we, we just roll with the punches. I think the, the condition right now is not possible for us to travel, so I don't want to get stuck there just by that, because of that reason. It was a great learning experience for me. This has been my dream since uh, the beginning of my career, to make an English album.